Hi guys, in a previous video, uh, I showed you how to build a web API using Python and we had a simple function uh, like this one here, greeter, which delivers a certain string and that's the way we call the function here, the, uh, sorry, the, the web API. It was hosted, in this case, on a local host and we just passed in the parameters, in this case, name and surname i.e. Joe and Flo and what what the what the web API does is basically calls this function greeter and this function returns this string hello whatever uh, first name is delivered and then whatever surname is delivered how are you right now um, the question here is you know <clears throat> uh, what good is it well the beauty of, of having your Python as a web API is that you're able to call that Python from any other script and that other script or, or program does not have to be Python. So, so um, let's in this video, let's take an example and let's do the following. I'm going to create a, a PHP page and that PHP script or page is going to call that Python web API. And this way we are able to call from PHP a Python web API and we're able to exchange data from Python to PHP uh, just by the fact that we have created a web API with our Python. And PHP has no knowledge of, 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 you know, what programming language lies behind that web API. PHP doesn't even care. PHP just calls that web API with the parameters that that web API demands, i.e. name and surname, and then the web API delivers the text. So let's go into our PHP script. Uh, let me just expand that, makes it easier. So that's pretty empty script. So the first thing is I need to generate some HTML. So there's my HTML. And the, the HTML is basically just, just uh, standard HTML. And what we have is like two fields, two uh, input fields. One is where you input the name and one is where you input the surname. And uh, let me just, uh, let me just, um, let me just echo, what's it called? HTML template. So let me just echo um, HTML template, save it. And so there is that page. That greeter page is, is, is hosted here on the local host, the local host, real play, and there's the greeter PHP, and there's the, there's the two fields that I have. And now let's work on our template a bit. Um, we have two fields, name and surname, and the plan is to send them this data, the name and the surnames, to our web API, and that web API uh, sends back that greeting, which is basically uh, that text here, hello, whatever, how are you? Okay, so uh, let's first of all uh, fix up some variables. And the first variable I'm gonna call is input name. And input name is, uh, let's put a condition here. And basically if the array key, because um, let me, I'll write it up and then I'll explain it. Um, right, so if array key exists and then we have name and, oops, this is name and then in post and so then post name otherwise just empty Oops. Empty string and semicolon. So what that means, let me just expand the window a bit. 
Uh, yeah, let me just put it full screen, makes it easier. Right, so what we have here, the first variable I create is input name. Uh, what it is, is basically all uh, form inputs that you have, they, in PHP, they all get put in a, um, in a sort of a global array, in this case called post. And um, we, we, do, we have two form fields and basically so our uh, post array would have two keys. One of them would be name, the other one would be surname because that takes the, it takes this post uh, array takes its uh, keys from the name of the form fields, in this case, name and surname. So what I've done here is that in case uh, there is no post, um, there is no uh, name in post, i.e. when you when you just uh, call that form for the first time, there is no post array because you haven't sent the form yet. So then you would have empty. Otherwise, if so, input name would be whatever you input in that form field, right? And the same thing is, I'm just gonna copy that, and the same thing is for surname. And basically, this is a sort of a, a, a compact way of writing an if condition. So what I'm saying is, if you're going to expand it, if array key exists, if that name, if that key name exists in the array post, then uh, we know just show the, the the name sent via that form field. Otherwise, empty string. And just got to change everything to surname in this case, and we're good to go. Right, so I've created my uh, my form fields, and the other thing is what I've got to do is I have now because I have here some sort of uh, placeholders for the values, and what I would like here to have, let me just here you see these are the placeholders. What I would like here to have are the names I input. If I input any names, they would be shown here. Otherwise. Uh, you know, just show an empty string. And that's why I created those two variables. So what I'm doing right now is I'm creating a new variable, call, um, call it uh, HTML output. Uh, and that new variable would basically take the template. It would take the template and replace um, value name with with my variable input name that's why I created that and uh, what where are we doing this replacement well we're doing this replacement in HTML template so I'm just gonna have that variable HTML template okay so what I'm saying here is that here's my variable HTML template, which is basically this whole HTML. And what this what this uh, uh, line is doing is basically replacing value name, this part, with input name. And input name is basically either the name you've inserted in the form after sending the form, or if you haven't done that, then it's an empty string. Okay. And the same thing will be done for the case of um, surname. So here, in this case, I'm replacing the value of surname by input surname. And obviously, not of HTML template, but I've already done here one replacement, so I'm just gonna have HTML output here. So the first version of HTML output just replaces the value name, and the second one, the second version here, takes the initial version, this one here, and replaces the value surname by the surname variable. Right, so um, so that's basically that's basically the, the whole thing. And let's try it out. Let me just here say echo uh, HTML output and set code. Right, so let me just minimize that again. And let's try it out. Let's reload. Uh, have I done something wrong now? Oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't uh, echo HTML template. I should remove that. We don't need that anymore. All right. Let's reload. So now you see 
due to those variables and due to this replacement, I don't have any more this values name surname, but I have here an empty string because I have not sent any names yet. So now if I'm saying like, uh, like Alice Wonder, and I go for return or send, I would have Alice Wonder in there because why now what is showing is that part of post. In this case, it's post name. And in this case here is post surname. Yeah. And if you wish to see what does post uh, include, there's, there's this uh, print underscore R. And this, this allows you to see what is in an array. Basically here, we're printing everything what is in an array. And if I press that, you see here, array name is Alice, surname is Wando. So that's, that's, that's the whole uh, thing that we got in here. Right. So far, so good. So our PHP is working. Now, what do I have to do is like basically call my, um, my, my uh, Python web API for it to return that greeting string. Uh, well, the first thing is, if you see here, in order to call my uh, web API, I need to have this string here. And I, I gotta first of all generate that string in, in PHP. So let me just copy that. And let's call that, um, let's call that greeter link. Oh yeah, let me just uh, put it full screen again. Greeter link. And uh, so, well obviously I'm, can't take the whole thing because that's pretty static with Joe flow. I just got to have name and then equal. And then here, what I need is concatenation in PHP with dots. So now what I'm going to do is concatenate the input name. And then to that, I'm going to uh, concatenate the and, the ampersand, and then surname equal. And then again, to that, I'm going to concatenate the input surname. Right, so that's that's my greeter link. And just to check it, if it looks okay, let, let me just echo it out. Greeter, oops. Uh, greeter link. And save it. Let's reduce it again. And let me go back in here and send. So now you see, here's the link, uh, localhost pi API, greeter pi, and in this case, name Alice, surname Wonder. So a link is great. So now we come to the, to the final step, is basically get that data. I need to get that data. And uh, what do I have it twice here? And uh, what I have to do now is basically, uh, I don't need to echo the greeter link anymore. So what I need to do is now generate a new variable called greeter data and greeter data gets the contents of that, whatever is behind this link, or basically get the data of that web API. So do that as a, a function in PHP called file of contents and contents of where of greeter link. Obviously, if I want to shorten it, I mean, if I'm going to do a professional program, I would just have this in here. And I wouldn't need that variable greeter link, but I just did it just to simplify things and to, you know, be able to explain in a better way. Right. So now we have the data here. So now the only thing I got to do is basically print out that data. Let's put some breaks, some line breaks, and then concatenate the... Um, the data we get out of our greeter function down here. So greeter data and save it. So now if I'm saying Alice Wonder greet and oh, uh, undefined file content. Have I got something wrong here? Oh, of course, how silly. It's gonna be file get contents. Yeah. All right, so save it. Now that should work. And then take that off. So there you go. So now you see I have now called my Py web API. I've called it for my PHP script. And what I did, I just had my PHP script generate a link fulfilling the requirements of my web API. And then just got the contents of that web API and I produced them over here. So now if I'm saying like, uh, you know, Woody Pine, 
And there you go. So now, the beauty of this thing is, you have your script in PHP, and that content is being produced by a Python web API, and PHP actually does not care, <laughs> you know, what, what kind of API that is, in what language it's written, and so on. So, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, it could be written in any language. Uh, you could also take your Python web API and, you know, program it in a different language. It doesn't matter as long as it's using the same link, taking in the same parameters and producing the same content, uh, that PHP script doesn't care. You see, and that's the beauty of it. So now here we're able to uh, call our web API written in Python from another script, in this case written in PHP. And it goes seamlessly. I mean, a user using this uh, web app in this case would know that, you know, there are multiple applications or multiple programs involved in this simple uh, app.